welcome to Awake Ones. Today we're going to be talking about out with the old and in with the new, and we have a special guest. I am Sally Poitier-Ash. I'm Alexandra Winman, and I'm Lorraine Pilate. And in Santa Fe, <laughs> I'm Michelle Toon. <laughs> we have the whole gang here today. <laughs> And today we're going to be talking to Melissa. So Melissa, do you want to introduce yourself and just tell the viewers a bit about who you are? Yes, hello everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm, I, my name is Melissa Lee Costa. Um, I'm in Vegas, um, Las Vegas, um, United States. And I am uh, just stepping out um, to answer my calling uh, as a healer and um, energy light worker. And I think we're going to talk today a little bit about uh, my transition from this life into the next um, making. Passion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> making um, or manifesting what is in my heart into my everyday life, leaving a corporate job, which I'm sure um, those of um, you who be watching this may um, be in a similar situation. So um, it's a it's quite a journey, and it is fun so far. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about uh, what what you've been doing for a living, because you've only just left your job, right? Well, I have two more weeks at my at my job, so um, I am uh, I gave a month's notice, um, and I would say that I've been feeling the need to transition out of this role for probably over a year. So I think I've, um, one of the challenges is just stepping through the fear of um, leaving a corporate job and then not having that same sort of dynamic um, that I've always had, which is, um, you know, the, the 3D, um, kind of set up, which is benefits, you know, for your family <laughs> and lots of, lots of other things that are um, very um, security um, based. So my job, I work at um, a online retail company. Um, it's owned by Amazon, which owns many of the <laughs> online um, <laughs> e-commerce uh, sites. And I work in PR marketing. Uh, so I work with our um, luxury brands on the website and help uh, brand and market them so our customers can find them and, um, you know, basically purchase clothing, which is definitely not, um, it's a, not a sexy job when you're, I think the, the energy of it is very much different from what I feel is in, within me on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think the, the job, um, I've been in this marketing um, industry for about um, 18 years or so. So it's um, definitely a huge transition for me to step out of a corporate role and go into um, energy work as a, as a full-time thing. But it is always with me. So it, it feels as if um, I'm answering the call that I've really been on a journey my entire life to be at this moment and arrive here. As they say, I am who I've been waiting for. Oh my God, I love it. Well done, honey. <laughs> happened, because obviously you've been in this industry for 18 years. So what was the deciding factor for you? When was the moment when you decided that you were going to make the shift and why? Yes. So I, um, as I started to really um, develop uh, my abilities and gifts after work or on the weekends, um, attending workshops and trainings, uh, and, and really in my day-to-day -day life, even with the members on my team, I I do feel that I'm I'm always doing some sort of energy work, even though um, you know we're we're at the job on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but as as soon as I started to open. I felt the synchronicity of the universe start to speak to me. And I understand about the, the importance of not knowing the future and not having control over that. So as soon as I let go of 
trying to um, uh, plan. I think that's, that's a big part of my job now is planning, planning dates, planning events. So when I stopped planning and just went with the flow, um, there were just so many signs that were coming to me and it, it was something I, I couldn't ignore. And the more I stepped into that, the more confident and the wholeness that I felt in the decision. That's amazing. And so with setting up your business, so obviously you've now got to, you know, you're going to create your own website and all of that stuff. So your, your marketing background is going to be very helpful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Alexander, you and I were talking about how it, it can be, you know, a blessing and a curse at the same time. Because when I started thinking about the website and um, I, I wanted to be able to do it myself and, and learn how to, how to build the infrastructure. And because I work with our website, I, I know a little bit, but um, which helped, which also was something that the universe was speaking to me as well. A big project that I had just worked on was um, helping to redesign our website, even though I wasn't the person actually designing it, but it was um, being involved in the process and understanding a lot of the, um, the nuances. When I stepped out to build the website on my own, um, it, it was not, not as frightening as um, it probably would have been. Um, but that's where the creativity, I think, that lies within us all. Um, sometimes it's dormant. And it just really, it was just like, <laughs> just like opened and, and I felt so alive being creative. And uh, even if, you know, the, the ideas or what I was um, creating as far as um, imagery or whatnot, even if it, if it's not something I'm using, it just felt so amazing to bring that from within myself and in, into the world. So that's how I also, how I knew I was on the right track because it became more, um, more just exciting and, and more, it, it was like a romance, you know, this creativity that I was having. And I just wanted to keep dating this creativity and I wanted to marry it. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to be with it forever. And, um, I, I think that the marketing background, um, it can hurt you as well because you can also think about and anticipate what the reaction will be. And that's not, um, that, that's a contrast with how to set something up with the intention of just letting it touch whoever or it coming from the purest place. And I, and I think that's what I was trying to explain earlier. I don't think I did it very well, <laughs> but when I was saying that um, it is, it is a little bit challenging to be in a role in marketing where you're thinking about and anticipating it's almost like a formula that you're creating and if the energy around you and all the people that you work with if you're not all working toward the same goal there's so much contrast there where the always thinking about what the customer wants that's that's not how i feel the the highest light with what i'm doing so i'm not thinking about what you know, what the people who would work with me would want, it's out there and then letting the universe magnetize and bring um, those people or um, those experiences to me. So it's, it's a complete opposite um, kind of dynamic there. And can you tell our viewers a little bit about what your, what your new business is going to entail? What, what are you going to be offering as part of your spiritual business? Yes, um, so I will be offering uh, services. So the way it's going to start out, and I don't know where it will lead, <laughs> which is you know part of the romance. Um, I, my, right now what I feel called to do and what I really enjoy doing is Akashic Records readings. So I'm um, a certified practitioner, um, and I've I've done many of those, just not. Um, you know, in a, in a business sense on, on, on a website where people can actually find me online and book online like you, <laughs> Alexandra. We just had a session together. It was, it was so amazing. I, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I hope I stay on the honeymoon forever with, with that, with that session. It was, 
it really was the most incredible experience of my life. Even, I mean, it was like, you know, kind of, I, I don't know how to say it, like orgasmic or something. <laughs> oh, that's going to be my new brand. <laughs> To show you because we actually met. No, I didn't. We, we actually met through a, a mutual friend, and it's interesting because our mutual friend is mutual friend also of me and Lorraine, and he lives in the UK. So it went from UK to Vegas to back to the UK. And <laughs> Steve Nobel who put us in touch, and um, it's just I love how this like network it cycles around and brings people together. It's so incredible. Yes. Michelle, you're always in Vegas, right? Yeah, actually, I was going to say that. I So, Melissa, I'm still in corporate America. Um, there should be a support group. Um, no shame and, in that, Michelle. We need you there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I travel to Vegas kind of frequently. And um, I so I'd love to meet up with you when I'm there. Um, I am very curious, being someone who's still in corporate America, and you've made this transition, clearly you are passionate about it. I mean, just the way you describe it is so exciting. I am dying to know who's your support system? What is your, what are your friends saying? What are your family, what's your family saying? Are they like, okay, so you've had this corporate job for 18 years and you're gonna, huh? Are, are, you, do you, are you getting a, a, good, a good feedback from people? Uh, yes, I would. It, and I would love to meet up with you, Michelle. I'm yeah. so excited. We're both on um, Pacific time, West Coast. <laughs> we are where we are where the sun sets. <laughs> um, I it, it's been, you know, I think that I had more fear about telling people than um, the reaction that I that I have received. Right. Um, it for my family, my husband. Um, he's extremely supportive um he, he's he's so he's awesome and he, he's i guess through the years um he's really opened up a lot to um you know just even the lingo that 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 i say and some of the galactic <laughs> verbiage that i use um he's he's not um someone that you know is going to be doing energy work with me but he's he understands how he's really expanded himself. So um, he's excited for me. Um, I definitely married someone who, you know, the, the train's moving really fast and I'm like, Hey, we don't know where it's going, but like, you know, hop on. And he's like, you know, running like faster than me. And he's like driving the train. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's been great. And um, I have three children. Um, my oldest is 16 and she's just, just, always um has inspired me to um do this type of work um even when she was born i think it was really um i felt aspects of myself um also you know be birthed into the world and when i look at her i i often that that's what i think of she she really is the beginning of um what i'm doing now so she's she's so excited for me um, and my two little ones, my nine-year-old son and seven-year-old, um, they they just say, "Oh, mommy, you're gonna help heal the blackness in people's hearts," <laughs> because I the way that we talk about um, things and um, compassion is, you know, we have little dark spots, you know, all of us do, and um, the more that we can um, color them into brighter colors, the um, the better we feel and the, the happier. We are, so they're excited. But as far as my um, coworkers, and colleagues at work, they, um, I've been really surprised how open they are uh, to even just um, talking about consciousness. And uh, they're, they're very interested in crystals. For um, holiday, I gave everyone a gift. And I, I wanted to kind of start a larger conversation outside of the spiritual closet. I'm, I'm in the spiritual closet and I'm starting to come out. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey everyone. Um, because it is a, it, it's, it's not something at all corporate places that you can really, you know, have a dialogue about. Um, right. At least in my um, filters that I have, I didn't feel safe doing that. Um, but I have in the past 
I'd say um, six months or so. It's really, um, it's, as soon as I kind of ignited that with the crystals, um, a member on my team reached out to a, um, a pet psychic um, and um, about her beautiful um, cats, about getting healing for them. She wasn't understanding what was going on. And then several other people um, did that as well. And they all started to ask questions about, um, I mean, different things, you know, is, is this real? How do, how do you sense energy? How, how does this work? How did they know those things? So, and even though that's, you know, kind of on the fundamental basis, those questions, it, it's alive in everyone's heart and they want to know and they want to expand. And it, it's been amazing. And when I did tell everyone um, that I was leaving to do, to start energy healing business, um, they're like, I want to be your client. <laughs> I want, I want to do that with you, Melissa. So, uh, it, it's been amazing. I'm, I'm so happy and, and excited. And, um, and they, they also ask things about, um, how, how can I, how can I feel better? How, how can I, um, I mean, Reiki is definitely some, a lot of people have, have done. And I think Reiki is amazing because it, it is becoming more, um, I don't want to say mainstream, but for lack of a better word, it, it's people yeah. are, are starting to open up. And I, I think that's a nice gateway, um, for people to, to understand that there are modalities and there are, um, these gifts from the universe that are ancient and that can help us heal ourselves. So it's, um, it's been amazing. I, as far as telling my family, I actually, this is really funny, but I am going to tell my mom today. <laughs> I'm not told her yet. I actually have not really um, told some people in my, in my family um, yet, but I, I think that's also just this kind of, you know, raw honesty that I'm, I'm giving that, um, it, there, there must be, there was, I think before my session with, um, Alexandra, <laughs> I, I think there was some, some fear about, um, revealing those types of things. And I feel so much better. I almost picked up the phone yesterday and, and called her, um, but I'm going to do it, um, today. <laughs> so, and she will love it. She'll be so excited for me. Um, it, it's more that looking at myself through the years, I, I've always had this need um to uh, succeed to take care of myself um and there's that fear when you're stepping out into something unfamiliar and you're not really sure you know that the, the salary of the corporate job is not going to be there a lot of things of you know that safety net aren't going to be there and i've had to work through releasing that and releasing the perception that i feel that others have of me um, you know, which really probably starts with my mother <laughs> because she gave birth to me and I've known her a long time. <laughs> um, but yes. So, um, I, I hope that it gives you lots of different, um, areas to dissect in, <laughs> in my answer. <laughs> no, I think that's great. I, I think that's great. We were actually just discussing this before. So, um, Maybe, you know, wait till the video gets edited and you can just send her a copy of it. <laughs> right. yeah. Actually, that's a really good idea, Michelle. It's, it's, we, we are thinking alike. I thought, wow, this could, this could you know, it, it comes with its own um, how-to video. It's like a video greeting card. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But she's coming to visit um, in, in a few weeks. So um, that... It's great for me because um, my last day is in two weeks, and then two weeks later she comes. So I'll have a nice two week two week incubation incubation period to kind of, um, you know, get, get everything where I want it to be, and then I can spend some time with her. And um, also, you know, juggling both um, is is going to be something that I want to challenge myself with, because I'm sure all of you are aware that when I think it was um, Eckhart Tolle who said, if you ever want to, and I'm, I'm totally butchering this, but the, the, the general idea was, if you ever want to see how aligned you are, just go visit your family. 
<laughs> <laughs> and that will <laughs> reveal itself yep. um, because you know all of our triggers and all of our um, you know deepest um, fears and filters are all you know tied um, or I would say one interwoven said, with our family. This one has a, we had a conversation about this probably about a year ago now, and you know you think that you're, you've got it all sorted, and then Laurie goes and visits her family and come home. And we're like, <laughs> Lorraine, were you like, oh my God, I need, I have to like hold all of my crystals. You know, it, it, it can really, it can really throw you off. And it's not that, that there's anything, you know, um, well, they bad or not even judging the, the, the moment or, or anyone involved, but it, there's, it's you, it's something that, you know, you are something within you is reflected back that, you know, needs to be healed. There's healing in every moment it can present itself exactly. which is really awesome <laughs> when you get to that moment when you do actually go and spend time with them as i did earlier this year and it's wonderful yeah and it all just flows and it's happy and joyous and a celebration and just very loving and i came away kind of i don't know what just happened <laughs> <laughs> it's a little testament to the shifts and the healing. And I think that's something that we're all aware of is that as we heal, even though other people may not necessarily do the same level of work or the same things that we're doing, our healing does affect mm -hmm. the outside world. And it does affect the experiences that, that we have there with those people that come into our lives. We're all stunned and stunned. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I thought Alexandra was going to say something. That's what family conversations will do to the group. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're all just staring. <laughs> just what just happened? <laughs> so Melissa, have you are you already doing work with clients? And you know how I suppose how is that going to work for you? Are you going to be working from home, or are you going to be working from different locations? Um, yeah, so I'm actually in my space right now. It's called my sacred space. It, um, it's, it's in my home. It, I only have um, very heavy curtains separating my bedroom <laughs> and, this, and this space. Um, but that's, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's lovely. I um, have my, my crystals. I have my, um, my desk. Um, I have a, um, a, a day bed where I can do uh, channelings in my meditation. So for the, for the time being, my sacred space will be where I work. And I, I'll have, I, I believe I, the, the best way to a, approach kind of stepping out of a, a very um, regimented, um, you know, day-to-day -day life is to approach this just like I would going to work, you know, getting, getting up in the morning. I, I get up with the birds. I love hearing the, the birds tweeting. Oh my gosh, we have the most beautiful little sparrow that comes to sit on the side of the house and makes all these beautiful noises in the morning. And my cats, they're all just waiting. <laughs> they look out the window. Um, waking up in the morning, just like I do, you know, getting ready for the day. Um, and then hopefully um, in time, I'll have my, my hours, instead of having meetings booked, I'll have sessions booked <laughs> with clients. <laughs> so, um, so we, yes, I'm the, the way that I envision it, the, the way the, the universe is showing it to me um, is to just take this step and all everything will begin to fall into place. And, and that actually, I, I'm glad you brought that up because that is what held me back for some time not taking this step because I didn't understand how it would go. That exact question that you asked was what I couldn't um, put into an, you know, an understandable, um, explainable, um, kind of scenario <laughs> to my, to myself. So because of that, I would, I would, you know, okay, not today, but tomorrow, kind of like, um, I don't know, do you guys love that movie, The Princess Bride? Oh, Does everybody watch that? I just love it. Where I think it's the Dread Pirate Roberts when he's like, he's like, okay, yes, I'll, Good night. I'll kill you tomorrow. <laughs> you know? But like he never, he never gets killed. That's the way I've kind of felt about my, um, you know, my making my dream come true. It's like, okay, yes, my dream. Yes, 
yes, we'll make it happen tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> and then, it, you know, that's, I would just sit kind of idling for some time. Mm-hmm. And, and that's something that I hope um, that people who would come to me for healing work, I, I do believe that that is something that many of us feel, no matter if it's, you know, stepping out of a job or if it's a, a relationship or just, you know, some place where we know that we're starting to shrink within ourselves and not expand. And, and once I really started to feel that dense energy on myself, I, that's really what gave me the momentum to step out and say, okay, I don't know how this is all going to play out, but I, I do believe that when you are following your path and you are aligned, that you will have everything that you need, everything. I love it. And will you be doing uh, online sessions as well for international clients? Yes, yes. And that's actually a, a question that uh, my current members on my team were asking, um, you know, is it in person or is it, you know, how, how does this happen? And when I was explaining to them that, you know, you can, you can do anything with anyone around the world on Skype, all, all of even my healing sessions that I've done with, with, for, for you, for example, um, Steve Noble, and, you know, I have a, a, a list of just, you know, star, light stars in the universe that, that I've worked with. Um, it's always been on Skype and it's amazing. And I like this Zoom situation. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll have to get this now that I have the app. I really love it. It's like so cool. Uh, so yes, that will um, be the way that we would connect, just like we did. And I, and really, I think um, Michelle, you asked me earlier, um, what is my support system here in Las Vegas? And I, I actually don't have any. Um, I don't know yet any healers that that I know directly here. Everyone that I have met has been virtual. I have virtual love affairs with all the healers across the world in all these different countries. So I hope that I can be of the same service to others that way. But I, I hope that um, I can, you know, you come visit. Alexandra, I was saying you have to come to Vegas next time that you're going out to LA. And, um, you know, I think this is an amazing place to have events and trainings. And um, so I might just meet the support system here along with all of you. <laughs> I feel a road trip coming on. <laughs> yes, yes. What better road trip than Vegas? It's so fun. Right? We, can, we can all play our numerology um, intuition at, at the casinos. <laughs> 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 Which I love, love numerology. Um, and that was something when I was speaking about the synchronicity and how the universe was you know, starting to speak to me when I began to, to listen and open up um, the, the vibration of the numbers and, um, and, and many people, you know, find this, you know, 111 and 222 and 333 on the clock. Um, and then just in, in a lot of other ways with the, the numbers that would find me. And it just gets to the point where it's, it just feels like, wow, this is so cool. It, it's like this whole secret puzzle in the universe that all I have to do is believe, open, and then it's right there. It, it, it's, not, it, it's not something that is, you know, a secret as soon as you understand that it's this, you know, natural pattern that, that is laid out that you can find the meaning in it in every moment. It is so cool. When I decided that, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The car in front of me, the license plate said, leave LV. <laughs> like leave Las Vegas. And it said leave. I was like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I must leave the job now. <laughs> I think that was similar to what uh, Steve Noble was saying in, in his story about uh, um, having the same, you know, desire and kind of, um, waffling about it you know should i do this and then he saw the t-shirt that um or it was an ad for um, nike you know just do it yeah. and so those are the those are the things that are guides you know in this this whole beautiful pattern that's that's laid out and the answers are always there and through channeling which um is the the more that i'm stepping out into um just expand 
understanding myself, the channeling is such a self healing um, gift. And that's something that I've, I've started to do on a daily basis. I, I told Alexander this um, yesterday, but when I would leave work, I would need to kind of um, release some of the, some of the energy. And so on, I, I never listened to the radio or, or, or music to or from work. And I just sit in the, in the silence and count the birds that fly over. And, um, and that's just like kind of this peacefulness where I can just come back into myself. And I started to, while I was driving, uh, channel um, different star beings. And I know this sounds completely <laughs> um, kind of not only out there, but because I'm driving, but that was the whole point of it was to, for me to be able to show myself um, that it's always there. These abilities are always there. It's, it's not something that you have to wait till you get home and, you know, um, meditate for a little bit while you're driving, when you're in a peaceful place, you can channel. And so I was doing that for a few months and then I would get excited. I couldn't wait to get in the car. Who is going to come, who's going to come through today? And, and, and that's, um, that's how the whole, you know, love affair and relationship with the um, channeling, uh, began. And, and sometimes garage it, without it going but just so because I just love the seat it has such amazing energy in it and I'll just hold the steering wheel and then and do the channelings and sometimes I'll, I'll record them in there I know that's a little you're secret but <laughs> the driving channeler it gives a whole new meaning to show me the way <laughs> if we do a road trip Michelle we know whose car um Melissa will be traveling in <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but that's when hand channeling happens as well when driving. So I'm usually having long conversations with different people from the, whether it's the guardians of the land or whether it is the you know star beings. It's yeah, a regular regular conversation, and you just have to be selective about who you tell that to. You're having these, yes, you know, yes, and I'm so glad that you know this is this is just a private chat that we have here. No one's going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it it actually feels um, very um, healing to to speak about channeling um, to you know start to come out that um, you know kind of shedding the the skin of the corporate day to day life where I haven't spoke about these things and haven't um, felt able to so. It's it, it truly is healing just just to be able to tell you my my funny um, little channeling um, story because how else um, can you really give this gift and help others if you're if you're not um, truly being authentic in what you know your soul calling is and and that's something that I've I've worked through and. Alexandra has very much inspired me through um, the videos I've, I've watched of her, you know, kind of being a voyeur um, on, on the side, just like, oh, with this big, you know, massive crush on her energy. I mean, it's been a while. And, and, then, and then finally we met and it was like, woo, like fireworks. And um, through her sharing from her heart, her own story truly inspired me to answer my own calling. And I would like to give that back to others and, um, you know, team ascension, you know, help heal timelines um, that other people, people um, are carrying with them um, and making people feel comfortable being themselves and no matter what aspect of that means. Not everybody will probably talk to star beings. Um, it's probably something else, um, but it is, it, it just feels so great to have this opportunity as well. <laughs> it is amazing when you, when you kind of work through those fears of, oh God, people are literally going to think I'm nuts. I'm like, yes. I used to work in magazines, as you know, in Lorraine, <laughs> I used to work in a, like a normal job and coming through that, that, <laughs> that normal, but, you know, coming through 
that transition, it, for me, it took a long, long time. You know, for years I was kind of being asked by my guides, will you channel for us? And I just wouldn't do it. I was just like, I'd do a few write, written bits, but I wouldn't, there's no way I ever thought I would be doing it on camera. And it feels so liberating now to be able to do it. And I can honestly say I'm, I'm just not afraid of it anymore. And I mean, some weird stuff happens, right? But what I'm finding more and more is like your lovely self coming out and saying that it's helped you and keep going. And it's the same with these videos that we're doing with Awake Ones and all the topics that we're talking about, any of these topics. We've sort of made it so that nothing's off limits because this awakening that, that humanity is going through, it's not linear, it's not logical, it's not sectioned, it's not going to be in a safe container in a box that you can put a big bow on. It's messy and it's chaotic and it's up and it's down and it's weird and it's wonderful and things can happen that you never expected to happen. So we just so happy to be sharing it and what I love now is the the support like other light workers stepping out you've come through a doorway in preparing you know leaving your job you've stepped through a veil really and I think it's wonderful to speak to you today and what we want to say is that you're supported and you know you have a sisterhood here you have a community here there are many other people that I think that you could meet, now that you're being your authentic self, you will find that the universe will bring more people like you into your sphere of influence as well. Like, I couldn't believe it when I first started like actually saying, uh, yeah, they're just angels that I deal with. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people, I didn't get one negative comment. I got one kind of reluctant comment that I had so, when I put up my first channeling, which was a written piece, so many people wrote and in support saying thank you thank you thank you it's amazing keep going and the universe will step up and and hold you honey just the minute you know it's just beautiful you're blossoming it's so wonderful to witness i'm so pleased that we've managed to capture you at this moment here like this because i am sure that in a year's time in five years time ten years time this video can be something you look back on to see where you are at and to see how you've shifted and changed as well. Oh, thank you for holding this space for me, Alexandra, and, and everyone, Sally, Lorraine, Michelle. I, I can't thank you enough. I, I feel um, a, a strength around me um, from, just, from just knowing you, but also having this opportunity today. And I, I do hope that in, in 10 years, we will all be laughing so hard when we, when we watch this and we can, we can reminisce and share all kinds of amazing memories. Um, but I, I am very grateful to you extending your hand to me and for hugging my heart and uh, enabling me, empowering me to um, see the light within myself and, and step out of, of the fear that I was holding. Um, I am forever grateful. Thank you. So welcome, and we, and we look forward to getting more conversations as well in the future, and uh, and especially filming because we'll we'll be in LA in February. So yes, I cannot wait to meet you all. Yeah, so, <laughs> we will definitely add Vegas onto the uh, onto the list. But you're going. Thank you all for the work that you're doing. Come in the channel. It's great. <laughs> we take it in turns. <laughs> <laughs> so and thank you all for the work that you're doing. I can't wait to meet you in person. It'll be fantastic. It's going to be wonderful. I, I, I had um, one more point I just thought of as well for people who are either still in the corporate world as Michelle is and said that she is as well, or those preparing to step out, or even those like Sally who may not be you know, called to be a healer as such, always know that you're where you need to be and what you're doing is completely valid. This is the thing, like Sally here is an incredible light worker. Michelle is an incredible light worker. And all of the, the skills that they bring to the light work and vice versa, it's like they're needed. I think that light is needed in these, these corporations and these places yes. and these jobs more than ever. And it's also valid. And one of the things that I noticed that coming from a magazine background, journalism background, into this work is that none of my previous work became irrelevant. All right. of 
a skills that I still use now. I use my writing, I use you know, video skills and, and all sorts of things and obviously branding and PR and all of that marketing stuff that you learn wherever you are, those skills that you're learning now are part of the stepping stones to lead you to where you've got to be. It's all a thread. So um, for anyone watching as well who's in a similar position to Love and Melissa here, you know, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear your experiences and um, we'd love for you if you want to share some of those experiences on our Facebook page, our Twitter, our Instagram, because we're building a community and we want to support everyone and to let people know that they are supported. This is normal. It's happening to so many people now. And uh, yeah, let's, let's lift each other. Let's connect. Let's support each other. Let's, let's make the conversation an open conversation so it's not seen as, you know, taboo to talk about this stuff anymore. You know, Alexandra, you bring up a really good point because I know, and I'm sure Melissa can attest to this, in especially in corporate America, you were taught to silo, to compartmentalize. If your kids are sick at home, you don't bring that to work. You know, I mean, we've, we have grown, I've grown up in that sort of a mindset. And what I think is interesting is there's been this growing trend over the last couple of years um, bring your whole self to work, be authentic in your work. And so I, I do think that for people who are discovering their gifts, but they are choosing to stay in their corporate jobs, you're exactly right. They're, I really do believe that the, the trend and the wave, if you will, is to absolutely bring your complete authentic self to work. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I just want to say um, one thing that really um, helped in, enlighten me on you know how in, how in, how important it is to understand your your you know your your purpose because your purpose is not um, a, a job or, or or something outside of yourself. Your your purpose when you're living it it can be done anywhere. It doesn't have to be that you know you're you're stepping out and and actually making that you know your job it, it can be done in any any situation because it's it's within you so it's not an action it's it's a um it, it's a it's a living life force that's within you that you know you're sharing with the world and whatever that purpose is um so that really helped me enjoy work more when i wasn't um when i wasn't sure exactly what i was going to do um but i knew that my my purpose was to help other people um, see their own light and for me to help others, I had to do that for myself. So that was really the first step. And, um, and I mean, I could go out to a restaurant and meet someone and, and be doing that. So, you know, having that conversation, planting seeds, planting seeds. So, um, you know, people can um, grow within their awareness to be done anywhere. Yeah. I'm just excited that, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping out in, in doing this and feeling called to, um, but I did enjoy every moment at um, my corporate job and all of the corporate jobs, <laughs> all of the graveyard of corporate jobs that I've had, <laughs> all of them <laughs> I've enjoyed um, because I've been given so, so much. I, I, I am, you know, this, this um, tree that I've grown into today because of, you know, everywhere I've, I've planted myself. So I'm very grateful for that. But just to your point, um, your whole self, yes. Because when you can do that, there's so, it's just such a rich experience. There's so many people, situations, and a lot of contrast to work through. And, um, and you also have the opportunity to be a, um, a way shower to other people. You know, I wouldn't say I'm a way shower in every moment at my job, but I, I, I do, um, I'm very connected and, and put, my intention into everything that I, that I do. So I, whoever that inspires and inspires, but, um, it, I felt a deep purpose at, at the place I've just been for, um, six and a half years. And it was a really cool company. They're very open. They wanted people to bring their whole self to work. And, and really they said that that was the only, that was their core value was being you, um, being free to be yourself. And I think that's a sign that, an indication that the world is really starting to become more um, 
aligned and attuned to the importance of people being whole because then they can help whatever they're doing become whole as well because it, it has to be that way. And a really important point that you made, which I think goes across the board for everything, is holding that state of gratitude and appreciation for where you are. I think so many people think, oh, if only I was doing this other thing, then I could be happy. Or if only I was, you know, if I had a different job or I had a different relationship or if I had something else, you know, that, when I get there, then I'll be happy. And right. we have to appreciate and value everything. And, and give everything that we can, even if it is a job that we don't like. If you can be the very best version of you in that space and, and doing that job, and you stay in gratitude for everything that you receive, we know the law of the universe is that you get back what you put out. So by being the very best version of you, then open up the possibilities for all the other best things that are going to be for you to appear. So it's really important. Attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes. 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 We're very grateful to all of those that tune in for all of you uh, talking to us here today and for everyone that watches. We are very, very grateful for you too. And Melissa, so have you decided on the name of your business yet? Are you still deciding? <laughs> well, I, um, I went through a lot of creative uh, names so many. I, I bought, I think I have now um, 11 domain names <laughs> bought that are just sitting in my GoDaddy account. Um, I decided just to, in through guidance that, that I received through um, my guides in a channeling session that I did, it, the name that I did not want to use is the name that I'm going with, <laughs> which is my own name. <laughs> I did, I did not want, and that was all tied to what I was telling you about earlier. Um, just, you know, there, there's still that, that fear of stepping out and I, I didn't want to actually give it my full name. Um, I didn't realize that that was why, but now I do, why I had such reservations about it. Um, but it'd be melissaleecosta.com. And then there's, you know, of course, lots of opportunity to um, come up with other maybe use some of the other domains that I bought mm -hmm. with other cool it's so much fun to come up with concepts I just don't want it to end I never <laughs> wanted the party to end ever I, I mean even just leaving the carnival when I was younger I would just cry and cry and cry and you know being born on New Year's Day just born to party so, <laughs> uh, but the creative journey is is so fun uh, so yes it's my name and um we'll see we'll see what happens but it's easy to spell we'll so, put Melissa link. Lee Costa. <laughs> we'll put a link below for any of the viewers so that it's easy for them to just click through yeah oh thank you thank you so much thank you for all the support i i feel just all of your love coming down in this invisible confetti on top of me thank you <laughs> thank you so much and thank you michelle Thank you, Michelle. Hey. And to all our viewers, thank you for watching.